What's going on, my Capricorns? This is Survey here with Flirty Tavis Spirit. We're going to get into your next seven days overall, what your money look like, what your love looking like. At the end, we're going to use, um, draw from my Oracle decks, uh, the Relationship Oracle and the Love Oracle that is available for sale on my site at FlirtySavage.com. Let's get into this thing overall. Ha, 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 ha. So we have judgment that's here, privileged lady, and then messenger. So definitely some messages that's coming in overall could be a reunion um, with someone. It could be messages about money, uh, a judgment that comes through that ends up making you be a privileged lady. Like, you know, being that, that check that comes in the mail could be that stimulus package finally if it ever... Um, and gets 100% approved, uh, like PPP money or EIDL money for you, uh, but just some type of balance, some type of answer decisions being made um, that's coming in your life. That's the overview for your next seven days, like having to make some decisions heavily. I just don't feel like, I, I mean, I just keep feeling like a long distance relationship, like something coming from like a long way Either it took a long time to get there. Or this is a long distance relationship that end up getting reunited and you feel on top of the world once it comes or you get a message from this actual person. Um, truth here. So like there's some type of truth that's being revealed um in this situation like it could be something that sets you free um set someone else free or give some type of clarity to the matter uh like clearing of a name or something of the sort that's here it just seems like that, that like standing in your power like yeah i'm that bitch i'm a rich bitch whether or not you're financially rich spiritually rich whatever rich it's like i'm that bitch you know um whether or not you male or female, you know what I'm saying? Like you just standing in, oops, sorry, uh, like that abundance that's here is what I am getting. I don't know why I'm doing the most with these cameras and these lights today. But anyway, never mind my little stand that's here that keeps getting away. You guys don't care. Anyway, um, let's get to what you're here for. So basically, money, we also have more communication that's coming in. So that's why I kind of feel like this up here is talking about money. Um, something in regards to maybe house, a partnership. So someone could actually be selling their house, buying a house, uh, finally getting that contract um, together that says that, hey, um, we are now in partnership. We're in business together. Uh, we bought this house. We sold this house. Uh, you know, like some type of formal com confirmation that like this situation has been solidified. Uh, we went through the process. This is this could be an offer letter or just be that, you know, you you coming in and accepting uh, the position or whatever, something to where this partnership feels like home for you. It works. You guys work very well and it ends up working for you financially like this seems like an ongoing like working towards something with others to create something this is this is you and other people like working on something to like build a home um but it's like working towards something working together to build something that everyone is kind of like passionate about this could be like having a newfound interest in your job or actually going to another position or job or creating a business that just kind of is more so what you want to do. It's more so peaceful at home, relaxing. Um, this is a big ass house. So whatever this is, you got, I just feel like Capricorn, not Capricorn Virgos could be dealing with the Capricorn. They, you guys may very well be ended up coming into some major, major, major money privileged lady, this big ass house, Truth coming out, partnerships, yeah. Mm hmm. Could also have something to do with another earth sign that's here, or either if you're dealing with somebody, could be dealing with a fire sign that's here with this passion ignited, which is the ace of wands and uh, main female, and then falseness. Okay, one, two, not. Okay, 
So someone has recently came in and stirred up some type of romantic feelings with somebody. Um, I feel like that for some of you guys, this is for a very, very, very small amount of people um, that you may find out like this person it may not be the gender that you thought that they were. Like if you thought that they were a man, um, they actually could, you know, have been born a female, but identify as a man now. You get where I'm going. Don't want to step on no toes there, but that's what I'm getting that, that there could be some false incest there. Um, someone definitely could have like came in proposing posing themselves or could be coming in posing themselves as if they're trying to be their, your main thing. Uh, and that's what gave them this opportunity with you, but that could possibly be, not be the case. Not that they have someone else, but it could just very well be that, you know, this person was selling you a world that they don't really have ownership of, you know, like they could be saying that they wanted a relationship, but they really have commitment phobia. Um, but some type of new beginning in love is here. Also, for some of you guys, I feel like that you, this may be the first time that you get it on with your person, but something don't go right. Um, something doesn't work out well or, doesn't go down well because see how she looks like I got my rose, but it's not like um that thrilled like this is it kind of like thing <laughs> like you talked all that stuff about what you was going to do and this is it <laughs> like yeah I'm all worked up and this is it like I, let's pull some more oracles here to see what's going on. We're going to pull again from my oracle deck that's available on my site to get more information about what's going down in my Virgo's love life over the next seven days because that right there, baby, is a whole live soap opera. <laughs> Come fix my life type situation. So, so many more messages about Virgo and their love life over the next seven days that's here let's see so we have these are my confessions we have vanity we have gay engaged this card has came out like every read i've done this is my sixth read it came out at least i know for four lonely and then destiny uh comes out last here all right so with confessions that's here and then with this vanity vanity i think for me these confessions could be like someone confessing that you know yeah they may have promised you to be like engaged or an engagement a girlfriend boyfriend wanting type some type of commitment but they were just saying what they needed to say in order to get what they wanted from the situation like in that moment um they were lonely looking for someone or you were so that's why you kind of may have known that this was a little bit of some bullshit but you was just kind of focused on you um them coming in confessing that you feel that they feel as though that you are 100% so beautiful. Like you are just, oh my God, the most beautiful thing ever, the most sexiest thing ever. And that's how they ended up getting in with you. And I don't feel like that you really kind of really gave much resistance to it. Because it's just like, hey, it's the holidays. I want to have a little bit of fun. Let's have a little bit of fun. You know, um, also get like this engaged may not actually be a physical like uh, a proposal, but it could be like get out and get engaged. Like your destiny is out there calling for you, but you've got to get out of the black hole. You got to stop being lonely, like staying by yourself, figure out a way to get that beauty out there, you know, get get your vanity on, get, you know, you know, your hair done, your hair cut put on whatever, whatever, like tap into your vain self, have a vain night of where it's all about you, but get out there and stop wearing those same sweats that you've had on for the last three days. You know, your destiny is calling you, but you need to get out there and actually go get it, my Virgos. Yeah. See, what other messages do we have for the Virgo? What's the business here? What other relationship messages do we have for Virgos? What's going down for some of them? 
Could be dealing with a water sign that's either super emotional or cold-hearted. Um, if they're being an ass right now, that's mean they're being overly emotional or they're being cold-hearted. Don't you dare reach out. Um, someone is dealing with someone that has some baby mama drama. That's a toxic ass situation. Uh, they are still involved with their ex. This is confirmation, especially if it's the baby mama. And I don't trust you. So don't trust this person. There's definitely some secrets that's going up. So this could be another message for another group of guys or this could apply to you as well. So just feel it how you're feeling it. You know what I'm saying? But definitely if you are in a toxic ass situation with a water sign, let them have their own shit. Like don't let them stress you out don't no matter how lonely you may feel like let them do them you don't trust them so just leave they behind where they at you know what i'm saying so i'm going to pretty much leave this right here my virgos uh i love you a long time if you subscribe to my channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up i would really really like that you can or give it a thumbs down if that's how you feel and either way it helps my algorithm but um yeah if you're gonna be a flirt at least be a savage with it be a flirty savage tagline bam merry christmas y'all i'll see you guys on the next read